Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how I use Pebble Pad in my course and what I want students to get out of it. So I had two main goals in mind. Um, I wanted students to start thinking about employability um, for their course. So these are first year students that I teach. And also I wanted them to get to use some of the various functionality within Pebble Pad. So I get students to create uh, a LinkedIn profile. So they go through the Learning at Griffith module on that, set up their own LinkedIn profile, have to meet the, the various criteria there. And then with Pebble Pad, they get to create a portfolio. So I'll take you through the various aspects of the portfolio here. I basically wanted them to um, insert different forms of media, but also to get them to reflect as well. So the students I teach uh, typically learn science courses. So I teach a chemistry course where they're learning lots of facts. I want them to do a different style of writing. So some reflection. So I'll show you some templates on those. So this would be the, the homepage um, for the an e-portfolio, the one that I've created here. So students would replace that banner, insert a photo of themselves, write a, a paragraph just about themselves there. And then down the bottom here, you can see a link to the LinkedIn profile. So students would have created that separately and then here created a hyperlink that would take them to their LinkedIn profile. I've created here a few templates about the reflection. So uh, students will have to complete the academic integrity module on learning at Griffith. So here I'm asking them some questions about that. So why is that important? And then I'm giving them here, um, this would be blank space for the students. Um, but they have to write between 100 to 150 words on each of these questions here. So why is that important for a future health professional? What did they learn through doing that? The second reflection is I want them to upload a piece of work. And so here, this can be any item of work. So it could be uh, a, an assignment they've done, a video that they've made, any sort of multimedia um, form of work there. They're not marked on the work. What they're marked on here is the reflection on their work. So again, they've got some questions and they get between 100 to 150 words to respond to each of these prompts here. So describing the piece of work, what did they learn from doing it, what worked and didn't work, and why is that learning significant. And then the last thing that I do is I award students a badge if they've been competent in the lab in their pipetting skills. So this is one of the lab skills. Um, I have created a badge in Credly that I am able to award to those students. So I can't award it to myself, which is why you don't see it here, but this is a, a typical digital badge. This is the fourth year that I've asked students to create this portfolio. So the second year through PebblePad and um, previous to that, I let them use other um, portfolios. What's really important is that as a convener, you have a really clear idea of what it is you want students to achieve through the portfolio, and also that you create or have sufficient uh, resources to enable students to do this. So it, it doesn't come intuitively for a lot of students. This Pebble Pad is quite a different uh, software to compared to what they would be used to. So I've provided a lot of support in terms of task sheets and also walkthrough videos enabled to students to um, create their Pebble Pad portfolio.